Hey guys, welcome back for another video. If you are new here, my name is Lulu and I like to create content for plus size fashion, beauty, and lifestyle living here in Japan. So I know it's a whole brand new year and I'm sure many of you love to try to maximize items in your closet as I do. Especially with the new year, I go through my entire wardrobe and really just try to pick out the items that really stand out to me and that I wear the most so that way I can keep those items and then just kind of shed the extra excess clothing and donate it to people who will actually wear it. So with that being said, it kind of had me thinking, I would love to share with you guys and show you all my favorite items that I wear and multiple ways to wear it so you can really just maximize the certain pieces that you have in your closet. So that is what we're doing today. And I wanted to share one of my favorite items in my closet that I feel like is super versatile not only for the summertime, but also during the winter or colder months. So we are gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you multiple ways that you can style and wear a simple slip dress. So you can find slip dresses on almost every single website at this point. It's super popular. It's been popular for a couple years now and I will definitely link below a couple of my favorite slip dresses that you can pick up today because I purchased mine from Target, I wanna say like two years ago maybe. And I still wear it in my wardrobe all the time and I feel like it's one of those pieces that I constantly grab for and try to style in different ways. So I'm all about maximizing the closet this year, finding multiple ways to wear items because I just don't wanna have all the clutter in 2022. Let me know your thoughts on that and if you're kind of in the same boat where you just don't want the extra clutter. So let's talk about the first way that we can wear a simple slip dress. Obviously during the summer months or when it's warmer out, you can pair a really nice slip dress just as is because it's gonna be hot and it's the perfect outfit. But during the winter, you kinda wanna add a little bit more layers or styling techniques to kind of amplify it and just give it that extra touch. So one of the ways that I like to do that is by adding a sweater on top and kind of converting my slip dress into a skirt. So what I like to do is grab a sweater, I put it on top of the dress, and then what I do is I belt it at my waistline, so whatever the smallest part of your waist is, and then I like to pull the fabric up around the waistline so it hides the belt but it still creates a really nice waist as well as that sweater effect look so it looks like I'm wearing a skirt and I'll typically pair with a nice pair of booties or a cute pair of mid calf boots just depending on whatever the weather is looking like outside you can also wear this with a cute pair of white sneakers and add on that extra layer of having a jacket obviously I'm in a climate out here where it's not snowing and it's not super cold so I can still kind of get away with showing a little extra leg but that would be my very first way that I love to wear a slip dress is just converting it into a slip skirt. So another fun way that I like to convert this dress is actually by tying it up. So you guys have seen me do this so many times where I take a rubber band and it's just gonna be a little small rubber band. I will show you, it's like this. It's one that you can just use for your hair. I actually do use these for my hair, but I will use this and I'll just gather the fabric on the inside of the dress and then loop it around kind of like I'm making a little ponytail and it'll naturally just bunch and create kind of a waistline and what I like to do with that is wrap it around with this bunch it up create that ruching effect around your stomach which will also help create a little bit more of a waist and make you look a little bit thinner in your midsection because it's having that ruching effect that's gathering at the middle drawing the eye in so I like to do that but another fun way that you can do that same trick is doing it on the side so as opposed to being right here in the middle if you do it off to the side it'll create that same look but kind of have a gathered effect to the side which I love I think it's so cute and then I think because it's drawing the dress up and making it a little bit shorter I love of pairing it with an oversized blazer that's a little bit longer so it kind of grazes at the bottom with the dress and then you can always pair it with a pair of really nice you know over the knee boots even a pair of almost the knee boots but you can pretty much do whatever kind of shoe you want with this look I do think it's a little more of like a fancier look so even a pair of heels for a date night would be super cute with it but that is kind of like the vibe that I love to do with it and then it immediately changes the look and the silhouette of the dress to make it just have a different type of feel to it which is super fun because it's another way that you can wear this dress without having to break the bank go find another dress and spend some more money. So moving into a more casual way to wear the dress, I go a little bit more Western with it. So I picked up this belt from H&M in the men's department because the other belts that they had 
did not fit around my waist. So that's another trick that I like to use is if you go to the women's department and you're looking at all the belts um, at a place like H&M and they don't have any that are plus size, I will oftentimes just look over in the men's section see what they have and sometimes they'll have belts that won't necessarily fit down on your hips but it will fit a little bit better up along your waistline at the top so I scored this amazing like western style belt I will definitely link a couple of them that they have on Amazon because they have a couple really great western style belts on there as well but I love this belt because it's so cute and just by gathering at the waist it just makes it have a little more personality to your simple uh, slip dress because oftentimes if you just add a jacket on top, it can look a little bit boring without that extra layers. I love adding the belt because it adds a little bit more interest to the outfit as opposed to just adding the jacket, which is fine. And I think you can definitely do that. But adding in the belt will create that visual interest for the outfit. And it also creates that Western look because the style belt that I chose. And then because it's kind of going off of like that Western theme, I did throw on top a jean jacket, which I think looks super cute. And it also the important part about it is it's hitting me right where the thinnest part of my waist is and where I decided to belt my belt. So that also will kind of help bring the eye in a little bit, creating that waistline and making me look a little bit thinner in that area. So that's another little trick for you if you're looking for a jean jacket. Try not to get the longer ones that hate a little bit longer, especially if you're trying to highlight this part of your waist or the thinnest part of your waist. Try to find the thinnest part of your body and make sure your jacket hits there and hits where you're also belting it. So that's my trick of the day for you. But I paired it like that and then added on a pair of like Western style pointed toe booties that just kind of complete the outfit and make it look super cute and like just kiss beautiful. So the next way that I also like to wear my slip dress is not as conventional as the other options that I provided. So I love to also wear it with a simple button down, which I know sounds kind of weird, but I love being able to mix and match and play with the colors here because the shift dress that I'm showing you guys today is an animal printed dress. So I like to add in an army green because I love the juxtaposition of those two patterns. All right guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my video and definitely drop down below in the comments, what was your favorite look and which one did you like the best the way that I styled it? Or if you have a different way that you like to style your slip dresses, let me know down below in the comments because I'm always curious to find ways to maximize my wardrobe and wear things in different ways to kind of give it a new fresh look. So definitely let me know, but we will see you next week for another video and have a wonderful week. Bye.